Alright, so it's a slow, early March day, and we've already cooked a bunch of stuff, but we need a little more comfort food to remind us of winter and ward off the coronavirus. So we're going to cook mac and cheese. Uh, for our cheese and spices, obviously we're just going to use pasta shells, but we get we got milk and cream, a little onion powder, pepper, salt, some butter, cheeses, listen, get your cheddar, but you got to do a little original Velveeta. I don't know if I'm going to use the Frank's hot sauce, it screamed out to me, just a dash, maybe. Let's see what happens. Might be the first camp snowstorm with the fireplace. Pretty sure. And I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty beautiful. What a view. That was my my one idea for the whole project. Right here. Charles did everything else. Those two windows were mine. Beautiful. We got a thumbs up for the moat, right? Thumbs up for the moat. Bone shaker brown ale. Whoops. And the bone shaker brown ale. Yep. We're leaving with uh, safety first, though. We got a little uh, growler of bone shaker. Now we're off to buy more more birthday presents for people. Yep. And head back to camp. Okay, so we all make mistakes. I, le I bought a tripod for recording and left it up in New Hampshire. So I'm going one-handed taping of how to make the, the mac and cheese. We're going to go traditional. All right, so I have my water boiling for the, the shells. We're going to make the cheese sauce. That's what it's all about, guys. So we're going we're gonna to get that going right now. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is get this butter in here. So normally I would pick this up with my hands and even though I've washed my hands like a bazillion times today, and right after I... set the camera up. Okay, so I get my butter going. Pan's a little hot. It's an old school pot that we, I brought back here from the camp. And it was used up a derby in the shanty. And we need a little time off. So we get that butter going. I'm gonna cool that off with some milk. And some cream. I'm gonna let that come to a little broiling broil, a little, little bit of a boil. All right, so while we get our dairy product warmed up without burning anything, which is gonna be great, before, you don't wanna add the spices just yet. While we do that, let's uh, check out what's going on with uh, the coronavirus. No, I'm only kidding. There is a legit sincere threat um, not gonna lie, I already went out to Walmart up in New Hampshire and um, went to Market Basket, loaded up. I already had about four or five months worth of food in my house anyway, and not that I think we're gonna need that, but you know, this news cycle is getting a little bit crazy with St. Patrick's Day being canceled in South Boston. That's where I took note, but um. You know, what better way to ward off fear of the coronavirus than make mac and cheese traditional? I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so we're gonna get ready to cheese this up in a bit. I'm gonna check on this. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add some extra sharp cheddar. Well, there's the Velveeta. You don't use the whole thing. You go to Velveeta, original what they use in the Philly cheesesteaks. It's a subtle, delicious, delicious cheese. Cheap, but good. So, once this is getting ready, and it seems to be, butter is all the way melted, we're gonna get this cheese going. 
In the meantime, I'm going to put my couple of maybe a tablespoon of salt, uh, crushed pepper. And then I have a combination of probably half a teaspoon of each of onion salt and salt salt. Mix that up. This is the key, guys. The cheese room. Alright, we'll be back in a minute. Let this get hot enough to melt all this cheese we have. Wow. Alright, again, I am sorry I do not yet have the ways of the GoPro or this smart's enough to bring the tripod that I bought home, but it's, this is my favorite time of the process. So we are hot and we're going to get our Velveeta and Extra Shop New York Cheddar in there. but it's going to be outstanding. Now while we do that, you can use mustard as a spice, but I don't have any. This is, works just as well. Just a little bit of yellow mustard. A couple squirts. I am actually going to skip this. I was excited to try it, but it's my first upload of making macaroni and cheese, so I want to get as traditionally as I possibly can. So, this could be a good idea. But we're not gonna do that. So right now we're gonna let this cook on a little bit. Our water's coming to a boil in the shells. And we'll get those going. Let them be a little bit al dente and then the executive decision is gonna be, do we go naked or do we bake these? Okay, so we got that to a little bit more than a boil that I wanted to, but it's perfect because it's all liquefied, nothing stuck to the bottom. It's a great, great base for the cheese. We've already, don't forget, we've already got Velveeta and Shot New York. So now let's get our basic market basket cheddar in there. Sorry, I'm going one handed, guys. If you can't cook one-handed, then you're no good at all. So, all right. Get a little bit more of that cheddar in there. Mike, before you went out to shoot hoops and throw the ball around down at Rat and Park, asked me to make this extra cheesy, so that's what we're doing. We're, we're loading this puppy up with cheese, but the key is to not have it at high heat. Get it hot, yes, but in stages, get your dairy going, get your spices in there, get some of your soft cheese in there, and then end it with the shredded cheddar. Turn it down below. We're going to let that. No string, we're good. We're gonna let that sit for a bit. Oh, no string there. Be right back with more Corona prep mac and cheese. So we're just backtracking to chicken soup that I made Sunday. We got a roaster of chicken and I was prepped up to make chicken soup and just took it out of the fridge for that flavor to lock in. 48 hours, so we're gonna, we're gonna eat some now, and then we're gonna freeze the rest. Alright, so we have the shells just chilling out. Slightly all done, they cooked. And you know what, I'm deciding to see if I have enough, I'm gonna go both naked and baked. So we're gonna do that cheese, and we got a pretty good stash of chicken soup. At least enough for three meals, easily. I'm going to freeze that. Okay, so here we are at the best part of the whole operation. we got get the cheese through. And uh, shells. I'm just going to dump that right in the mix. Some good cheese out here. 
We had a scrape. No flavor is going to be left behind here. None. Some of that best flavor. Alright, so. The decision here now is, are you going to eat it like this, or baked? So what we're going to do is just stir this little set in there a little bit. And we're going to get our pre-greased bacon pan. Normally, in the normal circumstances with two hands, I'd be dumping this pasta right in there, but I'm trying to videotape it without my tripod, which is up in camp in New Hampshire. Also, just I hope you can see how delicious this stuff is. So we're going to have two batches. We're going to have some baked, and we're going to have some bacon. So for the rest of the baked, Take some just breadcrumbs. I'm gonna shake them around a little bit. Oop, that was a little bit too much. Hold on. that in the oven. I'm getting this puppy up to 325. There she is. Oh, many people complain that here on Frank Talk we do not show you the final product or what have you, but we're just going to let you listen to the final product with the coronavirus prep mac and cheese. How is it guys? Honest opinion. That's good. Very good. Is it better than some mac and cheese you've ever had? Are you saying wow or are you just like it's good? It's very good. <coughs> Alright, so we got two versions. Naked, baked is in the oven. And uh, Jack and I will finish stocking up our coronavirus prep room in a bit. Okay, so we are not doomsday preppers, but I was pretty happy... You know that I already had a good starter mini potential survival kit but we've we've stocked it up with this corona stuff two weeks I mean there's more stuff in the garage but we have our toilet paper paper towel top sodas two sturdy packs of buds we got seltzer we got cranberry we got bud light Jack just went and picked up some Jameson and vodka and in addition to that, we have a wide variety of snacks, foods, water filtration systems, and that freezer is just loaded up with a variety of meats and prepackaged uh, freezer bag meals, just epic. So if we don't get hit with the coronavirus and we don't have to shelter in place for two weeks or whatever, we'll just bring this stuff up to up to camp. But in the meantime, you know, you might want to think about just having this on hand, obviously, and I know many of you are preaching to the quiet just in case. It could be a blizzard, could be epic hurricane, you never know. So it's been fun. And hopefully we don't have to break into it for two weeks, you know, God willing. Good luck, all. All right, so anyway, signing off. Uh, Jack did a great job doing a little extra coronavirus prep, going to the liquor store and Walmart for a few snacks. We are locked in for that, just in case. Um, I have so many other episodes in the pipeline, guys, from, you know, seasons past. And when I mean seasons past, I mean this year. <laughs> but basically, I'm a... 52-year-old guy trying to figure out technology and all that comes with that. And uh, so far, so good. So I figured I'd change it up a little bit, just a quick little mac and cheese thing. 
dealing with the whole, oh, wow, we get this coronavirus thing going on with, you know, everybody else. But so many other episodes with New Hampshire runs, Route 16, North Conway, split, how to split wood, how to do all that kind of stuff. Snowmobile. Just, you know, not enough time to put it all together. But I hope you enjoy this episode. Mac and cheese, wicked easy to make. I'm going to stay tuned for you guys and just be ready. I have shepherd's pie, traditional Irish style. I have how to make split pea soup. I have um, how to roast chicken, how to do a variety of different things. And um, God only knows what else is going to happen. So peace out, everybody. Don't get the virus. Or if you do, hopefully it's mild. All right. Baked. Naked. Peace out.